Gather round and you shall gleam the life of food science students by following their routine. Our student starts his day by ignoring the fuss, deciding to walk instead of riding the bus. Some days he starts with food safety class, but instead of learning about HACCP and grass, today he began with food chemistry, learning how to make foods calorie free. After 50 minutes of sweeteners and soda pop, the class was over and the lecture did stop. But because last night sleep he did tarry, the student was tired and napped in the library. After the nap, classes dragged on. Some days had a lab, but studying food science is never drab. The student helped at the hummus taste test just before dinner that night, and decided that the amount of garlic just wasn't right. Dinner, on the other hand, was filled with plight. At the dining hall, the student was appalled. The au gratin was rather rotten, and there was nothing good to eat at all. And thus, sneaking a banana out of the hall with stealth, the student decided to cook for himself. By the time he made it back to the dorm kitchen, hunger was starting to make him pallid, so our student decided to throw together a salad. Although he felt glum, he was glad to know the purpose of xanthan gum. Sheer thinning and acid-resistant it may be, it helped make the dressing pourable, but thick like jelly. When he was done eating his meal, the student's time was all eaten away, like how bacteria and mold cause decay. He retreated back to the library, where, as it is the food science student's plight, he had to study the entire night. And study he did. Study well, little food science student, and once you're more shrewd, you help the industry feed the world with your food. The end.